Hello everybody. Welcome to the story room in the Napping House. This is the third in our series of reading storybooks from the story room. And today I am going to read The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Now this book was written by someone who's very close to me right now. Audrey Wood. Yes. <laughs> she wrote the book and of course I wrote it too. It says so right there. It's written by both of us. I co-wrote yes. this book. So I'm a co-writer. And yes. also we have some other people here. These are co's. Yeah. These are, this is Ozzy and this is Miko. And if they're not in the middle of us all the time when we're doing a video, they bark and bark. So they like to be here and they like to listen to stories. They've earned their positions. They've earned their positions. All right, so here we go. Now, this, to explain, is a new edition of The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Dare. This book looks exactly like the original art I painted many years ago. So this book, if you think you're familiar with it, take another look at it because it Gorgeous. has been transformed. It looks much, much better than it ever has before. So here we go. The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red, ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? How that bear loves red, ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red, ripe strawberry a mile away. especially one that has just been picked. Boom! 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 The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and sniff, 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 find the strawberry. no matter where it is hidden. Or who is guarding it? Or how it is disguised? Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save the red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum! Now, that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. 
the end. Thank you so much for coming to story time number three in the story room of the Napping House. And thank you, Ozzy and Miko and Audrey. Yes, and we are enjoying doing this so much and sharing our books with you. There will be more. There will be. So look for them. Bye-bye.